Andrew Schultz. She is the youngest ever pitcher to enter the Dragon's Den. Not only did she come away with what she was looking for, she got more than double when she was just six years old. Maya Prang created Lunch Appeal. It's a sticker system that encourages healthy eating in kids. And now, at the ripe old age of seven, she's here this morning along with registered dietitian Abby Langer to see uh, to show us how it works. And I am very pleased to have you guys in the studio. Nice to meet you. Uh, I want to know about your experience on Dragon's Den. How was it? Good. It was good? Were, yeah. And were they nice to you? Um, very. Yeah, and were you nervous going in, or did you just, you knew your idea was so great that they were going to go for well, it? Well, we practiced a lot with yeah. these little puppets, mm -hmm. and so I kind of got used to it, so I wasn't that nervous. You weren't that nervous, and you knew you had a really good idea. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Lunch Appeal and how this idea came to you. Well, my mom was getting frustrated that I didn't eat the healthy portions of my lunch, so it occurred to us that we had to make it a game, and voila, Lunch Appeal was born. And you realize that kids like games, including you. Yes. Okay, so let's take a look at this chart over here. Okay, so what are we looking at? Those are our little apples. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and each one counts for what? Oh, um, well... When you come home from school, if you, let's say, ate your crackers, um, then you would cross off the one on your chart. Okay, so we have a whole array of snacks right in front of us here. Now, Abby, take us through what some of these might represent in terms of, of the lunch appeal chart. Okay, so something like uh, the crackers with the cheese and the ham would be a three. Okay. Three Abby apples because it has the nutrients and just the combination of protein, carbohydrate, and fat to keep Maya sustained all afternoon. Right. Something like whole fruits and vegetables and Mott's Frusations Fruit Rocket are a two because right. they're very healthy, but they are just a little bit of a snack. Right. And then something like crackers would be a one, mm -hmm. and clearly cookies would be a zero. Cookies are a zero. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but I guess you have to be entitled to a treat every once in a while. Do you do you eat treats every once in a while? Yeah. Okay, and I'm, I'm looking at the end. So at the end of the chart, there's a star. So what does the star mean? Well, when, when you earn um, 20 apples, you get to um, do the little reward. Oh. That's on the chart. And okay, so what's lunch with dads? You you can go through with your family and think of some nice rewards that yeah. work for you and that look kind of healthy, right? It's not necessarily like you get a big chocolate bar. No. Lunch with dad and a movie yeah. date and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And you were telling me a little bit earlier that you've always had ideas ever since you were really little. Yeah. Like, do you remember some other ones? Um, well, I did like, um, a um, a cardboard car out of a big box. So you okay? So your mind has always been at work creating yes. new things. Um, now, part of the deal when the Dragons Den decided to give you double what you asked for is that when you started making a profit, what happened? Well, um, I started using the money. Um, to grow my business, and then when I was in the position to pay it forward, I was to donate to it to the, the to the worthwhile cause of the Breakfast Clubs of Canada. Right, because we're worried about food security in this country. Uh -huh. So you have something very special coming up with Dragon Arlene Dickinson. Tell us uh -huh. what that is. Well, um, I'm meeting up with Arlene on April 30th at a school in Calgary, and I'm really excited to have this opportunity to let kids have healthy breakfasts and this round I hope I get an autograph with Arlene and maybe even a selfie. I think she probably would go for that. You know Arlene by name so I'm gonna guess that Arlene will do whatever you ask her to do and from a, a dietitian's point of view this is a great system right? It's always good to get your kids involved. You know what as a mother of two little girls it, I know the challenge of getting them to eat healthy stuff and wanting them to not bring their lunch home at the end of the day. So it's amazing to have this incentive to eat whole fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and, and Mott's fruit stations and the, the rest of their lunch that will give them the energy they need to sustain themselves. Well, thank you to both of you for being here and thank you for making parents' lives easier and getting our kids fed in a healthy way. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks. Thank you. We're